the most important part of any bandsaw work is a well-tuned bandsaw. Here's a look at the Factory Guides Grizzly Sands with their bandsaws. Let's roll right into pattern drawing. He only uses one side of each blank to draw each pattern. No need to use both sides if you're flipping the same way every time. After that, it's straight to cutting. First thing he does is takes the bottom of each pedestal and makes all those cuts before removing any of his lines. That just ensures you're not guessing on size and pattern once those are cut. He cuts each vertical line first, takes it, flips it over, and does the same thing on that side. It took us a little while to figure this out. After a few hundred legs probably, it all kind of comes to you. Quicker ways and everything. Sorry for the terrible filming. This is definitely a first video. Now he's cutting each point and doing that first, what we call the hump of the leg. All this is cut on the same side before he ever flips it. Make sure you remove any part that comes off of the leg once it's cut. Bandsaw will kick back just like a table saw. I'm not going to speed the video up any just for the amount of people who've wanted to see us cut our pedestals. That way you can see the whole leg in real time. That'll give you a chance to go back and reference the video anytime you're going to give this a try. This next part is the part that's very, very easy to overthink when you're cutting a pedestal. On your third side to cut and remove a piece of, make sure to hold on to it. You're going to see how he keeps each of those pieces, pieces them back together to give you a correct size pattern to go for on your final side. Using the original stencil is just not a good method to get that final side drawn. Your pattern's so far away after removing the first three sides. Your pedestal definitely look off if you try to use the pattern and not this method once it's complete. Make sure you keep up and watch this next part because this means everything. He's kept every piece to the third side cut. Squares it up on the side, holds it, reaches across and draws every piece. It gives you a perfect pattern because each of those cuts came from the exact cut he's about to make on the pedestal. It takes a little time to get used to that last cut simply because you're trying to follow a pattern on a curved piece. We usually leave the long swoop in the middle for the last cut because while you're cutting the end pieces, it gives you a good solid base and a square part to give you square cuts on the, all the way around. Use the same method you did on the end in the middle. Cut each side, dispose of the first two, but keep the third. That'll give you your fourth cut just like on the ends and it'll make your leg look good, square, and all your patterns will line up. That's really all there is to cutting a leg. It looks complicated, but actually it's our quickest method of doing pedestals. Turning takes us much longer. We like the way they turn out. They're actually a better seller than turn tables for us. We've drug our feet on making a video and there's been lots of questions about how we cut them. That last side I feel is the most crucial part along with setting up your bearings on the bandsaw. If the guides on the bandsaw are off and not lined up like they're supposed to be, your leg is not going to turn out the way ours does. The main advice I have would be to not overthink the leg. Slow down, set your bearings up, 
keep your third side of every cut and that leg should roll smooth once it makes it to youtube if you don't mind like that video and subscribe to our page i'm going to try to post some of our tricks to our woodworking and our methods of doing stuff over the next few years once again if this video helped you please share it because we'd love for everybody to see it and we truly think this is the easiest and most effective way to cutting a pestle We're gonna do a quick walk around of the pedestal as soon as this last cut's made. Excuse that strobe light effect that's got going on. That's just our shop lights going out. Let us know how your pedestal turns out if you give this a try. Let us know some feedback on how you like the video if there's one of our pedestals you think you might want to try, we'd be glad to sell a pattern. Send us a message if there's one you want, and we'll do our best to get you one. Thanks for watching. Share this, and let us know in the comments what you think.